There are now two official candidates in the race for governor in this state. Mayor Mark Boughton making it official today. The longtime mayor of Danbury says he is the right Republican to win in November. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis has the details. He's joining with supporters at a kickoff rally and dinner in Danbury tonight after five months of testing the political waters around the state. Just like the other candidates, he says Governor Malloy's performance on the economy has been an anti-business, high-tax failure. But Bolton says he has something that the other Republicans don't. What appeals to people about uh, my candidacy in particular uh, is that I'm a blue-collar Republican. I'm just like them. People get that I'm just like them. I like to say I'm not a, a millionaire, I'm a thousandaire. I got about a thousand bucks in the bank. He says that's what sets him apart from State Senate Minority Leader John McKinney of Fairfield, who's been officially running since last summer, and Tom Foley of Greenwich, who's expected to officially get into the race within the next few weeks. Boughton says that his research indicates that Connecticut voters are fatigued with millionaire candidates. We've tried running people who have that experience and they don't uh, connect with them. And elections are at the end of the day about winning and about being able to connect to the people that you want to serve. He is also the most avid Twitter user of all the politicians in the state, boasting 13,000 followers. He says he was able to connect with young voters in his campaign for mayor. There were people that sent me tweets, young kids, 18, 19, 20. Mayor Bowden, I want to vote. How do I vote? On election day, I sent them down to City Hall. They were able to register and cast a ballot. I don't know if they voted for me, but the point is they voted. He vows to continue sending his own tweets and even tweet while participating at at least one debate. I could have a, a staff person put up press releases, you know, take pictures of me cutting ribbons, but nobody's going to follow. That was Mark Davis reporting. And Mark says most politicians hire a young person to handle most of what's called new media, social media, and that includes tweeting.